Did you know that they have just came out with a crazy new shoe and Elid Kipchoge just posted about it on his Instagram. On top of that, there's a new article on Nike that states about his testing of this shoe and why he is using it. Seeing Eli Kipchoge fly by at a 4.34 marathon pace is catching just a glimpse of the greatest of all time horning his craft. Most of his running career hinges on the thankless, unglamorous but essential training sessions that build his reserve for breaking records. The article then goes on to state about the importance of his shoes and how his newest edition is the Zoom Fly 6. Most of you may have not heard of this as the article has only been out around half a month. So Elliot posted this and it's actually his latest post on his Instagram page and it's about the Zoom Fly 6, the design of it, the purpose of it and why he has started running in these shoes for his track sessions. Because this is a shoe designed for racing and speed, Eli Kipchoge is using it twice a week for his track interval workouts. This of course is going to help him to get used to the shoe when it comes to his next marathon major race. If you're new to my channel make sure you hit subscribe as I'll be covering that marathon major race here in real time. We don't know quite yet which marathon it will be but I have my speculations that it will be London 2025 in spring next year. Today's video we're going to be going over the shoes, what they do, how they're made, what's inside them and how this is definitely going to change everything. Trust me, it really is. The shoe industry is getting pretty crazy right now and of course the athletes don't seem to really care whether they put springs in or air pockets. The only athlete bringing this up seems to be Bekele but at the same time he also wears the carbon plated shoes so that doesn't make much sense. See my video a few days ago about that regarding Bekele trying to warn runners of a new type of cheating. Actually I think that was more like two weeks ago. The video has around 14,000 views and it did really well and a lot of people realised that there has to be a line drawn in the sand. So firstly, let's take a look at Elie Kipchoge's new running shoe, why it was named after him and how cool it actually looks. The design of the shoe is pretty awesome, I personally love how it looks, it comes in multiple different colours, Elliot picked the most eye-catching colour, funnily enough, and really interesting also, is I'm going to pull up a photo right now of something that Nike posted on their article, and it blew my mind. I can't believe this, I knew that Elliot kind of reads every day, he makes notes of like his diary training, you know he has like a diary for noting down his training, his mileage, how he felt, etc. But I didn't realise that he actually has a notepad for new shoes. It sounds a bit stupid right? Well Nike posted this in their article and actually showed a screenshot, like a photo of this pad that Elliot has at his training camp and it is actually a piece of paper with all these drawings and like graphs and scribbly writing about the shoe itself. So here it is. He writes entire pages, A4 pages of notes, diagrams, structured routines and also gives his opinion on the shoe, how they feel, what pace he ran in them and on top of that he also says what his training was in that shoe. So this is kind of cool and it's a new thing that I found out that I never knew about. It's a great way for Nike to get feedback from their best ever runner as well. So when Elliot trials a shoe, he'll do this note method that he has here and he'll write all these informations and he's quite a, you know, intellectual guy. So he writes all this stuff down about the shoe, how it feels, springy, does it have a bit of a, like a dead plate? Or is there something wrong with it that could be improved? Is the tongue of the shoe chafing? Is the heel a bit weirdly shaped? Is it too high? All these things he mentions in these articles and these notes he makes uh, and these are all done in his spare time while he's resting in between his double runs. It's really cool. Really, really cool. And the internet hasn't really seen them. Uh, it's only Nike posting that in October. It's the first time I've ever heard of that. I've seen bits of his diary but I've never ever seen anything like that in my life. 
There are a lot of diagrams about the shoes themselves, the pros and cons. There really aren't any cons when it comes to running fast. These shoes are perfectly designed to run very fast because they do aid your performance and the companies that make them even admit that. Quote, we started to call Elliot our product line manager on the ground, says Heath. Quote, he's doing hand sketches and writing dedicated notes about our prototypes. That's his baseline. Over the last couple years, he's gone to the next level of building feedback sheets, giving them to his running camp teammates and asking them to give their own notes. He's the world's best marathoner, but he actually feels like a member of our product team. This is really good. Where Elliot Kipchoge lacks in social media posting, he makes up for in helping Nike and being a very, very intelligent and beneficial sponsored athlete. A lot of the athletes out there, some of you watching this may be them, are sponsored by companies and uh, brands to do your races and your running, depending on how fast you are or if you have a big YouTube following or, you know, Instagram, TikTok or any of the other platforms nowadays. The problem is, is that a lot of you don't actually know how to help the brand. You have to really get their product in a certain limelight. You have to direct it and explain why you are sponsored by this company because you feel like their product is the best, how it will help you in your performance and your followers. That's what Elliot does really, really well is he is now taking these products apart, basically criticizing them, dissecting them and analyzing them. And he comes back to Nike and says, yeah, please improve this. Please change this. Uh, this needs to be different. And Nike are like, yes, sir. And they change it. It's really, really cool. Elliot's commitment to testing our shoes is a testament to how we partner with athletes all the time, not just on race day. What you do in a race is 5% of your running journey. Anyone who's racing marathons is spending 95% of their time in other shoes. Good point. This guy makes a key point is that the racing shoes aren't for mileage and Elliot knows that the Zoom Fly 6 is not a mileage shoe, specifically a racing shoe and he knows that. One thing I wanted to mention though is that what Heath mentioned in that article, just want to criticize it. Most of the athletes that Nike sponsor are actually really bad athletes for being sponsored. What do I mean by that? They're not very good at promoting the brand. They're very boring. They don't post regularly on social media and they could improve how they promote the product so many ways. It, I get very disappointed in seeing the lack of potential and how lazy some people are, even though they're running fast times and may achieve a sponsorship. Anyway, guys, that is the news. Zoom Fly 6 is now out and Elliot has been testing it for the past half a year I believe. Please subscribe to my channel and leave a like on the video to show your support and I'll keep you updated with any more news in the next video.